up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Welcome to Late Night Massacre, known as Safe. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So we have some new news on uh, the, you know, on this movie, the Saw 10 movie that's coming out September 29th. Okay, it was moved up from October to September. Um, Empire Magazine has come out with some new information, maybe some information that will surprise you, and some things that you know we got some extra little bit. You know, they're not going to tell us too much, but we got a little bit of information here that I think is interesting that we could definitely talk about going into this film. That it's going to be a very different Saw film, and it's not in a bad way. It's it's in a very big positive way since Tobin Bell hasn't been back to this franchise since obviously the Jigsaw movie in 2017, but. Before that, really, you know, a, a long time, really since, you know, 2000, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> so, a um, couple things I want to go over. Kostas Mandalore that plays Mark Hoffman had something to say. There's a little nit bit here. Um, and he looks amazing, man. Like, they just, he shaves his face and dyes his hair more black. I mean, he will look fantastic coming back as Mark Hoffman. He looks amazing. So he says, to all the Saw fans, I know you must be excited as we all are for what comes next. I thank all fans for their total loyalty to this intriguing franchise. I will always thank producers Mark, Ber uh, Mark Berg and Oren Kulis for seeing the beauty of this original story from James and Lee. May the games begin again and Tobin, a.k.a. Jigsaw, here it comes. So um, I never really realized how loyal to you know loyal that Kostas Mandalore that plays Mark Hoffman is to this franchise you never know like there's guys out there you know in franchises that really don't either they you know they make a lot of money over time and don't really care about the first movie they made I, I mean I don't really know any other Kostas Mandalore movies to be honest what other things he's been in um really hated him when I first saw it and then I really started to like him over the years like a lot you know I didn't really like when he took over uh you know uh the fourth movie at the ending to that when you found out he was you know helping Jigsaw he was the you know the brawn he was you know building the traps and he was helping Amanda and helping Jigsaw out and obviously a lot more bad things to come afterwards so um you know I I think he's great and I can't wait to see him I don't know how much he's going to be in this movie I'm not sure but but uh, I'm definitely excited, no doubt, going forward into um, this movie. Now, some other things that have come up as well, which I actually I'm I'm pretty you know pretty intrigued by the information here. Um, so another report came out from Empire Magazine says Saw X is an emotional journey that you go on with John Kramer and less a slaughterhouse that you experience from the point of view of the victims. Director Kevin Gutert tells so. You're not going to get a whole story with these victims as we usually get with every Saw film. You get like, you know, you see how they are at their job and what bad things they've done. And or maybe you find out later they've done bad things when they get into the game and they get into these traps. But this is from what Kevin Gutry said. This is a straight forward story. So there's not going to th this isn't going to be victim based. This is going to be strictly Tobin Bell Jigsaw 101. This movie is directly towards him. And I'm so glad when the information came out last year that Tobin Bell was coming back and he was going to be a big part of this film. I'm so glad this wasn't like a bait and switch where they're kind of teasing us with a lot of Tobin Bell, but they switch it with something else that we don't we don't really care about. And I'm so glad like the producer at Cooley, the pr producer at Lionsgate. And I'm just so I'm just so happy that they've made him a huge part of this film. Now, other news towards this film as well, which I forgot to put in here this is going to be the most screen time of a saw movie we are going to see tobin bell's character the most we've seen him in so this is a straightforward pure tobin bell jigsaw movie which i'm i'm really happy about that you know what i mean like we're going to see the emotional side of John Kramer. We're going and look, we saw flashbacks in the other Saw movies of like him going to the hospital, him with Jill. You know, apparently Jill is returning. Apparently she's going to be in this. So maybe, 
you know, I she finds out later, or maybe re kind of during this time where their you know their relationship is kind of going south at this time, um, when he's kind of going off the rails, um, you know, and trying to get his treatment and you know working on these other traps and working on a lot of things as you do see in the other tra uh, in this you know the the official Saw Ten trailer, which we're hopefully we're waiting on another trailer two right now, which I hope we get like in the next few days this week something like that. Um, but you're not getting a point of view from the victims. We've had every Saw movie like that where we're going to put too much on these victims. A lot of lot of screen time for these victims. Because we know what happens after this movie. We know, we know what happens before this movie. This is strictly going to be Tobin Bell, Jigsaw, strictly a movie all about him and only him. Like I said... This movie, what Kevin Gutry did say at Empire Magazine as well, is he said that this is the biggest, most screen time of Tobin Bell in his character that we're going to see. The most time we've ever seen him is going to be in this movie. So this is a pure base jigsaw film. We're going to see, like, not flashbacks of when he was John Kramer, and we're not going to see all that. We're going to see... John Kramer going to Jigsaw this whole entire movie. We're going to see the good side of John, the sick side, the cancer patient side of John, the innocent side of John to Jigsaw going after these con artists that are taking his money, faking his surgery, and putting them in traps and making this as what they call it his most personal game. Okay, which I think is, oh, I just love the idea of this. Like, when I read the description for the synopsis for this movie, what it was about, man, it was so good. You know, and sometimes people of the fans uh, were kind of talking about, well, this kind of makes him a bad guy, right? But no, you're going to be rooting for John Kramer this whole entire movie with Amanda helping. And God knows what other characters are going to show up. We know Mark Hoffman is in this. So... You know, even from the trailer, even from the official trailer, okay? The official trailer. Remember the pictures, we, you know, at least some of the shots we've seen of, like, John Kramer, like, crying, like, you know, hugging Amanda and crying. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, like, at the end of this film, Saw 10, I think Pedersen is the only doctor that's going to survive till the end. She's going to survive the longest. But I think there's going to be that twist ending. You're going to get that Zep Saw theme. And she's probably going to die because obviously no one is going to live. There's no way no one's going to live through this to tell the story. Okay, obviously it protects, you know, John has to protect himself. And, and obviously he already unveiled himself to these people. So if one of these people escape his trap and they actually escape him, that's going to make no sense. So I'm expecting everybody to die unless something happens, some, something weird happens. I don't know. But seeing the emotional side of John, like him crying in that trailer or the other shot where he was kind of like sitting there, like just putting his hands over his face, like upset, like... We're going to feel like we're going to feel a lot for this character. I mean, this feels like such a farewell for Tobin Bell, but I don't think it is because I feel like if this movie does really well, I think these movies will continue. I know a lot of my subscribers, a lot of people have, have you know, said, oh, you know, they can't they can't go on with this. I, I mean, if it's making money, I mean, look at Fast and Furious. It makes it makes money every single movie. It breaks records every single movie and they keep making them. But. Or are they making them the right way? Because I'm a huge fan of the whole entire Saw series. As much as I wasn't a big fan of Spyro, wasn't a big fan of Jigsaw, the movie in 2017, like on top of, you know, all the original Saw movies, I'm I'm I love all those movies. I'm a big fanboy of it. It's not that I, I don't have things I can nitpick at because I can I definitely can, but I absolutely love it. And I love that we're getting a pure, you know, uh, John Kramer to Jigsaw story. And even Kevin Gutry said, we're going to be seeing this character elevate from John to Jigsaw. He'll get there. He said, he'll get there in time. You'll see him get there from John to, because watch, like we're going to see like pure, like when John, like remember that scene in the Saw 10 trailer where he kind of walks into the examining room with Pedersen and like he just walks in probably acting like a normal seeing John Kramer as a normal human being and not you know vengeful or you know not you know what I mean and just seeing him as a normal John you know a normal human being in life that's trying to fix something and trying to fix something that really needs to get done since his obviously his insurance wouldn't cover this surgery so he goes out pays two hundred fifty thousand dollars and gets this done um 
You know what I mean? So I, I, I think that's awesome. I think, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so happy that is, this is pure Tobin Bell written, drawn all over it, which is great. You know what I mean? And we don't need to know the story for these victims, these doctors, because we already know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to see a whole backstory on Pedersen or some of these other doctors. Like, they don't need to go through all that. Since this movie is approximately, what, an hour, 48 minutes? I forgot how, how long it is. The longest Saw movie so far, um, which I'm glad they made it long because, you know, I think there's a lot here. I, I don't want them to rush this movie because if scenes are rushed, it's just not going to connect well. You're not going to get the full insight of you know how you feel about this whole movie by the you know by the time it ends i hope this movie makes a lot of money guys i'm i'm not worried about the you know i'm not worried about the slander it's going to get i feel like it's it's, it's going to go back to its roots it looks like it's back to its roots we were promised it, it needs to look like the original saw the lighting the yellow uh grainy dark quality some of the lighter bluish green quality that i do like to see billy the puppet coming back amanda coming back mark hoffman coming back god knows what else is going to be here is gordon is dr gordon going to be here is i mean i don't no, there's so much to there's so much going on and even kevin gutry has said to us okay that what we've seen in that official trailer was not even half of what's gonna happen so <laughs> which i was like man they showed a lot in that trailer but you know what i'm 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 really excited about it a full movie of tobin bell his human side and his vengeful side his most personal game and i absolutely love it i love that he sits right in front of these doctors and just talks to them with these traps and sounds just menacing and freaks them out from what they did to him we're going to be rooting for john kramer this whole entire movie and i cannot wait nobody's going to survive this the twist ending is tobin bell going to escape or something in some way because from what i could probably tell here is the cops are going to get there at some point and find this remote place that they found outside of mexico to do these um traps obviously back home you know obviously john kramer is known of so back home they're going to find out that you know someone is going to pass the information that he went for this surgery that they ended up scamming him and that's when Mark Hoffman says those lines like if all the all the people to cheat it's John Kramer <laughs> like you know the only person you the one person you should have messed with was John Kramer so I don't want to go too long with this video I got to talk about this for hours so um if you guys enjoyed this video if you last this long make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video and keep running um hope you guys enjoy saw 10 i hope this information did help on this movie like i said for the last time i'll read it one more time for you saw x is an emotional journey that you go on with john kramer and less of a slaughterhouse that you experience from the point of view of the victims every saw movie has been the point of view besides jigsaw maybe a little bit every saw movie has been a point of view of the victims with backgrounds of jigsaw backgrounds of john kramer backgrounds of scenes with this is pure pure john kramer jigsaw movie we know what the doctors did we know what their story is there's nothing else to really do you know what i mean there's not i'm glad they're not wasting time on that we don't need to waste time on that so that's all i gotta say you guys enjoy the rest of your day see you guys in the next one peace out